legs and hips and body, body. Legs and hips and body, body. I'm back. And today we are going to talk about how I gained 50,000 followers in one month. But before we get into this video, like, comment, share, subscribe. We're gonna get into how I gained 50,000 followers in one month on TikTok and how you can do the same and how you can honestly gain more in one month, okay? And just 30 days. I think mine was less than 30 days. Yeah, but I mean, 30 days. The biggest thing is when I was going through this and how I gained 50K, what you gotta do you gotta have a schedule and be very disciplined okay you gotta like this is what like i'm just telling y'all what i did my method may work for you your method might be different you might have a different done some different research and done some th different things and that is okay but i'm telling y'all how i do it so that's a little disclaimer a little caveat if you will so basically what i did was just I set monthly goals. Like I just basically set a monthly goal to post twice a day. Yes, twice a day, y'all. That is a lot of content I am producing whenever I make content. So what I do and what I did and what I currently do, I make batch content. So I might record somewhere around 40 to 50 videos a day wow but i'm not doing that every day i might do that like on a monday i might monday might might be my recording day right and keep in mind with well, my videos i'm just holding it like pointing you know whatever i might edit like five videos that day set your schedule on how your life is um if you have a nine to five which is nothing wrong with that and you're hustling like set your schedule to record and make content around that but set a very strict be very disciplined about and take it serious like if you want to be a content creator be a content creator like treat it as a job treat it as a side hustle because it can be your main hustle like it is mine if your analytics know what times to post what times not to post when are your followers most active when are they not um for an example um my followers are most active from nine it's usually like 7 to 9 or 9 to 11, depending on the day. But yeah, like set a schedule, stick to it. Another thing is when it came to me posting my content, and a lot of people don't take this seriously or don't, I don't even say take this seriously. A lot of people don't peep. You have to pay attention, especially if you're doing fashion content. You need to pay attention to the seasons that we are in. Um, any holidays coming up, um, just be aware of everything that's going on, right? I kind of blew up in December because I was doing a whole bunch of winter uh, outfits, color winter color combos, December color combos, what to wear in December, essential clothing you need in December, places to shop for uh, winter 2021 at the time. You really just got to narrow it down and be very specific about what you're putting out and, and just be very aware of the times, the seasons, everything, you know, just be conscientious of what's going on. This is a big one. So what I also did, I very much paid attention to the comments and my audience right let's do an example if you're doing fashion content and you're doing um places secret places to shop for december and and like two people comment um where can i get winter boots secret places to get winter boots like and you can reply with the video with that content pay attention to your audience and pay attention to what they want to see you're not going to understand it until you like start getting a whole bunch of followers and, and realizing like dang these are a lot of eyes on me because i you know felt that way when i started blowing up but now I'm, you know you get over it but <clears throat> you are these people's inspiration like 
people are going to become obsessed with you. It's going to be a point like these these kids want to meet you. These kids want to feel connected to you. So it is best that you give them what they want. You're not feeding them and like connecting with your tribe. They're going to leave you. They're going to leave you high and dry, okay? They are not going to be commenting. They're not going to be interacting because at this point, it's like, And I'm just I'm telling you how 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 they think, how the girlies think. Use the right hashtags, okay? TikTok is a little different because TikTok algorithm is made for you to blow up on. Um if you're very consistent with it, you're going to see results regardless. It's just automatic with TikTok. That's how the algorithm is based off of. Like rather with Instagram. Not so much. It's a little harder. Um, so it is very important that you are understanding the hashtags, being on top of the sounds and trending sounds and voiceovers. And even if there are like kitty sounds, like a lot of times there's a lot of DJs. Let me tell y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's a lot of stuff on TikTok. There's a lot of DJs on TikTok remixing songs and the, the kids love it the people love it everybody loves it so you just gotta jump in where you can fit in you gotta change with everything that's going on you just gotta evolve and just so make sure you're paying attention to the trending hashtags make sure you're paying attention to the hashtags we are using for your videos use hashtags that pertain to your videos like that relate and have correlation to your videos but also use the trending hashtags for that week or that month or that whenever like just be very aware you got to be with social media you can't you got to look at it you got to look at it as a creator not a consumer if you're trying to be a content creator you are no longer looking at it as a consumer you got to be very aware very conscientious you got to study a little more rather than scroll you can't you know, don't get me wrong, it's always good and fun, a, a kiki and lab, but you gotta be studying. You gotta be willing to comprehend what is being literally put right in front of you and seeing like, okay, she went viral because, not by luck, but by strategy. I'm to the point now where everything I do on social media is for a strategy, right? You gotta be strate strategic about how you move and how you present yourself on social media. Um, I would recommend setting a schedule on how long you're on there um, socially not working and even set a schedule on how long you're on there working because that can get draining and toxic and just annoying. So um, yeah, like set a time frame. If you want to edit for two hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays, edit for two hours on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If Saturday is your social day, your free day, you just on there having fun, scrolling, saving stuff, you know what I'm saying? Use it as that, you know, but, you know, mental health is very important. Don't get caught up in the comparison. Comparison is the thief of joy. That's pretty much how I just did it. I just stay, I just stayed very disciplined. Like I said, I, I did a lot of batch content recorded a whole bunch of videos in like a day, edited like four or five every other day or something like that. And I was just very consistent, like posting twice a day. And I'm gonna be real, I'm gonna keep it a buck. I didn't blow up for real until December. I did have like some bar videos do like 50K, do like 40K, but I didn't blow up for real until December. I have been doing TikTok since June. Like I have been posting every day, even twice a day since June. So June, July, August, September, October, November, December. I I didn't get paid. I was not, brands were not reaching out to me. Brands were not messing with me. I would reach out to brands. They'd be like, oh, well, the requirement is this, this, this. You got to have a certain amount of followers. Like, I'm being honest. Like, you just got to really hustle and treat it like a job and really see the vision. And also, this is the biggest thing, okay? You have to chase the lifestyle of being a content creator. Do not 
chase the money. The money's gonna come regardless, okay? Like I said, I was not getting paid for seven months. Like, I did. have you ever worked a job where you didn't get paid for seven months? That was me. I was not getting paid on social media. But, you know, thank the Lord. In December, um, you know, I got, you know, I did blow up and I was able to, I make money from social media now. This is my full-time job and I don't work. But this time last year, I was not getting paid. Like, I was not. So, I'm just being honest. But you got to just see the vision. Fall in love with content creating because at the end of the day, the money's going to come. But when the money comes, are you going to stop creating? Because you, the goal was the money. Yep, that's it. Um, that's how I got 50K followers in a month on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok at ITSYVNGKB. It's Young KB. Go follow me on Instagram, Pinterest. Y'all, I'm going to go 10K on Pinterest. I'm at 6K. So, and then I'm going to talk about how, how you get paid on Pinterest, y'all. Pinterest is paying YouTube money. But go follow me on everything. Go subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.